Hi there and welcome back to Cybertriage Basics. In this session we're having a look at Linux collections using the Unix-like Artifacts Collector and that is quite a mouthful. What is the Unix-like Artifacts Collector or UAC? Basically it's an open source tool, it's developed by a guy called Tiago Lahar and a bunch of other contributors and it is a self-contained package, self-contained collector. You put it on your target system, unpack it on your target system, and then run the initialization script, pass it what is called a profile. And the profile is, is simply a, a bunch of rules on what should be collected. And then it will run all those different scripts and executables that are actually contained within the package across the target system, collect all those relevant files, artifacts, volatile data, whatever else you're after, package them up into a tar gzip file, and then you can load that file into CyberTriage. Uh, you can download the collector from the GitHub page. There's also a bunch of good documentation on the GitHub page, so I strongly recommend checking that out. In terms of actually ingesting that collected file into CyberTriage, it's pretty straightforward, nearly as easy as any other collection. One extra step, which is that tar gzip file, has to be unpacked before ingestion. In Windows 10, Windows 11, both support the tar command at the command line. And Windows 11 even has support for tar gzip files within the file explorer. So it's actually a, a new good feature that has been added to Windows 11, which is, is pretty amazing. It's the only great new feature I've seen in Windows 11. But we're not here to bash Windows 11. So arguments there for the, the tar file. Z, deal with a, a compressed image. X, extract. V, verbose. And F is a file, telling it to, to process a file. And then you give it the path to the file that you want to extract. And we'll go through that in the demo shortly. Just one other little gotcha, one thing to pay attention for. Make sure that the tar gzip file is not in the same directory as all those unpacked files. Otherwise, that's then going to be processed by CyberTriage as well. In terms of the limitations with UAC, it does not collect binary files. So it's going to get hashes of the executable files. Those hashes are going to be uploaded uh, to reversing labs and compared. But in the event that they're hashes that are unknown, the binaries themselves are not going to be uploaded for scanning by AV products or anything else. And obviously you can't load them into a sandbox either. The other thing to be aware of is that the default collection depth is only six directories. So that's one configuration that you may want to change. I find most Linux systems go well beyond six directories, especially if you're dealing with a web server, you can end up with, with you know, quite deep structures there. So it's worthwhile modifying that and having a look at it. In terms of file stamps, obviously you're unpacking that collection onto your analysis file system. UAC does collect and create a body file, gets all the file system information off whatever file system you're, you're dealing with. So you are getting a full set of timestamps and everything else within that body file, which is what CyberTriage then uses when it presents you with your results and your information. So let's just dive into a quick demo of how to use UAC within CyberTriage. For this demo, we're going to have a look at both Windows 10 and Windows 11, starting with Windows 10 and using the tar command to extract the contents of that UAC file into our current www directory. You will notice if you look at the file explorer behind the window here, you will see that the UAC file is in one directory above the www directory. Once the file's unpacked, we can open up that directory in File Explorer and we can see that root directory, which gives us good indication we're looking at the right place along with that UAC log. Now, on Windows 11, as I mentioned, it has built-in support for tar gzip files within File Explorer. So all we have to do is open it within Windows Explorer and they're all our files. They can just be copied to our desired location. Once again, making sure that we create a subdirectory to contain those contents. Or if you prefer, you can extract those files from the command line in Windows 11, just as you did in Windows 10.
Once the files are unpacked, we can go to Cyber Triage, add new host, select Linux UAC files, assign our host display name, and then browse to the directory where we just extracted those files, however we chose to do it. One other thing, just to let you know, if you do try to choose a folder that doesn't appear to contain a UAC extraction, you will receive that warning. We then ingest as per null, and away it goes.